Hey everybody, welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am your host, Nicole Simonin. This podcast is for women who are so sick of dieting and so tired of being uncomfortable in their clothes and who are looking for a lasting solution without trying to starve yourself all week, only to overeat on the weekends, or to be a slave to cardio. I want you to know it is possible to lose weight over 40. Don't believe me? Then listen on. Hey everybody, welcome to today's podcast. We are talking about, is it possible to target fat loss in certain areas of your body? So I am gonna cut right to the chase. The short answer is no. (laughs) It is not possible to target fat loss in certain areas of your body. And this is why. Your body stores body fat in different areas of your body based on your genetics. So every single person has a primary fat storage area and then you have a secondary fat storage area, and then you have a third and a fourth and a fifth, and it goes on and on and on. So take me for instance, if I gain body fat, it's gonna go right to my hips. This is my primary fat storage area. And if I were to continue to gain body fat, it would go to my secondary area, which is my thighs. If I continue to gain weight, It will now go into my waist and then it'll kind of spread throughout my body. So it'll work its way down to my feet and then up through my upper body. Here is the biggest kicker about body fat. So when I lose body fat, so say I gain a bunch of body fat and my hips are really taking the brunt of it because it's the primary fat storage area. When I go to lose body fat, it's not going to come off my tush first. It's gonna come off my face and my ankles, and as I continue to lose body fat, it will come off my chest, my waist, and then eventually, as I'm getting really close to my lower body fat percentage, only then am I gonna see it come off my hips and my thighs. So have you ever heard, or maybe you've said this, um, maybe a friend said this, I'm losing weight, but my hips are looking huge. This is totally normal. What's happening is is that their primary fat storage is not getting tapped into when they're losing weight. If you have seen a woman with large hips that are very disproportionate to the rest of her body, chances are she has done a lot of yo-yo dieting because what happens when you lose the weight, it starts to go into those fifth and fourth and third primary storage areas. So as she's losing weight, she's going to lose it in her face and her torso, but not her hips. And what will happen is she'll start to lose it in her face and her torso, and then she'll fall off, quote unquote, her diet, and she'll start to gain weight again. And it's not going on her waist or her upper body or her torso. It's going right on her thighs and her hips again. So each time she yo-yo diets, she's going to keep adding to the hips. So what happens is, is you have to get, first of all, you have to ditch the whole yo-yo dieting. And I'm, if you're ready to ditch diets, you are in the right spot because it's not about sacrifice and deprivation. But when you start to lose, you got to keep going, especially if your, your primary fat storage area is your hips and your thighs, because it won't go down until you get to those low, lower digits in body fat. So the person I just talked about, like me, is more of a pear shape. So they're gonna have a smaller torso and then wider hips. Now, if you take the apple shape, which is more, they hold their body fat in their stomach, that is gonna be their primary fat storage. You may have relatives like this or have seen people like this. They have um, kind of like a barrel shape to their body and then they have these little stick legs. They're very lean in their arms and their legs and this is because they carry all their body fat in their abdominal region, which is not the healthiest body type to be. It's almost better to be a pear shape because if you're having that much body fat in that area, you're actually, for the apple, you're having that much body fat around all your organs. And that's when you can get into lots of trouble with lots of disease and cardiovascular issues and it's just not good. So for the apple person, same thing. When they lose weight, they're gonna lose it in their legs and their arms and their face. And the very last spot to go is gonna be their abdominal area. So again, if they're a yo-yo dieter, they will start seeing their arms and legs get really lean and then 
once they fall off their diet, they're going to add weight to their abdominal region and it's just going to keep going back and forth. Even though we are talking about it's not possible to target fat loss in certain areas, I think the more important thought is, is do not yo-yo diet. When you do that, you're really setting yourself up for failure. And that probably could be a whole nother topic for another podcast. So the bottom line is, is you cannot target in certain areas. So the main takeaway of this is you have, once you start, you have to keep going. (laughs) You can't stop until you get down to the body image that you are comfortable in and that you enjoy and you feel great in. Because if you start adding weight to it, it's going to come back into the area that you don't want it to be. So make sure you keep going because you're going to have to lose body fat all over your body. You can't just target one particular body part and it's miraculously going to lose weight. So if you are spending time doing isolated exercises that are specifically for certain body areas, like a lot of times I hear women say, well, I'm doing 100 crunches a day and that's going to help make my stomach smaller. It is not going to make your stomach smaller. It is going to make your stomach stronger, but it's not going to make it smaller. You have to lose body fat all over. This is why having a program designed for you individually, individualized, specific for your results, I find is just key. Those generic workout programs, they're not custom made for you. So they may work, they may not, but why waste your time trying to figure that out? The other takeaway is do not yo-yo diet. Make sure you are in this for the long haul. It's not about having a 12 week program and then bam, you are all of a sudden, you know, fit and healthy and then you get to forget about everything. It's not the way it works, unfortunately. So this is a lifelong process. And I will tell you that I know in my program, the skill sets that I teach, it makes it so much easier to not just lose a weight, but keep it off for life. So make sure you're in for the long haul because your body depends on it. Your health depends on it. Your life depends on it. I hope this podcast was helpful to you. If you are enjoying the podcast, I would love to hear your review over on iTunes. So easy to do, especially if you're on your phone. Just scroll down to the bottom of the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast and just click and write a review. I cannot wait to read your reviews and uh, I will talk to you in the next episode. Hey, if you're ready to ditch the diets and to really feel comfortable in your own skin again and be able to walk into a clothing store and pick whatever size you want to put on, head over to shapeitupfitness.com and schedule your consult today.